Radi Nyanko Ponti as a four no assay. A do say a bit here a radius of Nova Abushia for Mr. Mubena Mrena and Ninchine, a Kunini, Yamima, this year by Ina, and the one watch here now, Papa, Jumadi and Ofi Nigeria, a baye, and now, sir, man, two Nidia, Name, Yayam from Sho, Bishop Jude Oringo. Good news, Central Church. Uh, he's a friend of the ministry. He came purposely for this program, and he's a friend of the ministry. Bishop, you are welcome. Bepacho, nipa nyame nam no so beka urade asebo no. Me ntimi nka no ho asem ti. Meja ma Bishop Chief of Monuna, Bacho. Bacho yem fam sem bu nhia no. E no kwasem pa na meka no. In ministry dey meka so wa yeme nana. Onyame papa. Praise the Lord. Oh my two voice. Praise the Lord. So when you are now with them, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say a radia srana mo. Ne radi dini di juma. Awo yasi nina. Oye. General overseer. Awo. Christian outreach ministries. Abraham and Seb. Ne pesi yina besore jina yana su. Nye den sembo esia. Reverend Dr. Rich. Reverend Dr. Douglas Okona Frempon. Yanfan sembo esia no. Hallelujah. Uh, he's alive, he's not dead. Give him praise. Give him a shout of praise. He's the reason for all this ceremony. Hallelujah. First of all, I would like to take the unique opportunity I have to thank the presiding Archbishop Adai, the just elevated Archbishop of the Resurrection Power and Living Bread Ministries International, the most Reverend Dr. Akwesi. Esai Bediako and his wife, the wonderful bishops represented here, the apostles, pastors, evangelists, and distinguished men and women of God represented here, ladies and gentlemen. I really count it a real privilege that the Lord has given to me to share a word in a very brief moment because of the constraints of time we have here at this ceremony. I want to pick my scripture from the second reading, 1 Peter chapter 5, and I want to read the first 11 verses. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. The elders who are among you I exhort, I who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that will be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God which is among you, serving as overseers, not by compulsion, but willingly, 
not for dishonest gain, but eagerly. Not as being lords over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when a chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourself to the elders. Yes, all of you, be submissive one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but give grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a rolling lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfastly in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a, a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, at a solemn occasion like this, you are the only one through the Holy Spirit that can speak to us. We therefore ask that I will be a mere instrument in your hand in this brief moment of this celebra celeb celebration that you speak to our hearts. Let your words fly home into our hearts. Let us not be just hearers deceiving ourselves but being doers of the word. And we thank you for hearing. In Jesus' name. Amen. First Peter chapter 5. And from the verse 1 to 11. Appears to me as the job description of every shepherd. I believe deep down in my heart. That we've all, we've all had the responsibilities and the duties. That the archbishop. has been assigned. And I believe this scripture, 1 Peter 5, 1 to 11, summarizes all that he is supposed to do as the archbishop of the Resurrection Power and Living Bread Ministries International, as well as the body of Christ worldwide. It's a very, very heavy responsibility. And so with the shortness of time we have at our disposal, I want to just summarize these responsibilities and duties in two categories. I just put just two points so that we will all remember. And then after that, I will also look at our responsibility as congregation, as the flock of God that our archbishop is supposed to oversee. Point number one. Peter said, I exhort you as a fellow elder. Peter knew the burden of leadership. And he spoke to the leaders and said, I am not speaking out of imagination, but I have experience. I am also an elder, so I want to tell you what leadership is all about. And then he says, in 1 Peter chapter 5, he says, shepherd the flock of God, which is among you. 
shepherd the flock which is among you, serving as overseers, not by a compulsion, but willingly, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly, not as being lords over those entrusted to you, by being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, because he will soon come, soon and very soon, Jesus will come. Whether you believe it or not, he will come. When Paul was writing to the church, he included himself and thought that Jesus was coming any day. And I also believe that Jesus is coming in a day. Our archbishops and our preachers, our prophets, our pastors, and every true believer knows that Jesus is coming very soon. The signs are on the wall that he is coming very soon. And we love his appearing. And that's the reason why we are here. If you believe that, say amen. Peter said, feed the flock, shepherd the flock. The responsibility of a shepherd is to feed the flock and to provide spiritual oversight. The Greek word that is used, that is translated as tend, means to provide security, to provide protection, to guide and to make sure that the sheep is not devoured by wild animals. Number one, feed the flock. Our responsibility, and Archbishop, your responsibility is to feed the flock. The flock can only be fed from a rich diet of Bible study and prayer and the unction of the Holy Spirit. You don't preach somebody's sermon without heating it up by the Holy Ghost. You don't preach any message without the breathing of the Holy Spirit upon that word. The illumination will come when the, the unction of the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Something happened to me and I want to say in two minutes. Because my intention is to preach not more than 50 minutes. I was invited by a friend of mine to preach at a big occasion in Kumasi. The place was filled, Premier Assembly Hall. I was sharing with some of my friends yesterday. I got up early in the, early in the night, around 11, and I stayed through up to about 4.30 or so, studying and praying that I would be an instrument in the hands of God to bless God's people as a good shepherd. And so I studied. The topic was a very difficult one. And so I had to study. And so I studied. And then after my study, I went out on my knees and prayed and said, God, I only want to echo from you. I just want to say what you want me to say. I don't want to go with a favorite scripture and preach anything I want to preach. People come to church. They have individual challenges. They have, uh, they have questions for answers. They have problems and burdens that must be lifted. And God, you are the only one that can take my voice and my intellect and send your word to your people in such a way that these multiplied problems that are presented at the, at the service can have answers and can have burdens lifted. It takes only God to do that. It's not our intellect. It's not how long we preach the gospel, but it takes the Holy Ghost to do something through us. And may God use this message to change your life and bring tranquility into your heart and bring peace in your marriage and transform your life and elevate our just inducted archbishop. When I got to the meeting, the ashes came and met me. And thank God for good ashes. They took my Bible as they did this morning, took me to the platform, and then the soloist was singing. Then when I was about to be introduced, I realized that the notes that I prepared all night 
from 11 p.m. to 4.30 a.m. in the morning was nowhere to be found. And then it was Reverend Dr. Victor said, he was introducing me. And I was supposed to preach on the topic, see his glory. Sometimes his themes are something. See his glory. That was what I was supposed to speak on. And so all my studies, all that I prepared, all my notes, everything was gone. And he stood there and said, now I have one of my fathers to speak to you today. And I said, God, don't listen to him. Listen to me. I don't have a message. My message is missing. I need you. Holy Ghost, I need you to help me to preach to these people. And sometimes when we have some of these introductions, I don't listen to them. I said, God, don't listen to Victor. I said, listen to me. If I had needed you all my life, this is the day. I don't have my message. My message is missing. And I need you to use me tonight. The place was packed. Then I went to the podium. I took my Bible. I remembered my test. I quoted my test. Then I tried to explain what glory means in the Greek and what glory means in the Hebrew. Just to define my attempt of people will be on the same page with me. Then just as I'm go I was explaining myself, then the Holy Spirit took me, from another, from, took me to another level. Then took me back to my study took me back to my study room and showed me some of the things I studied. Brought back the Greek meanings. Brought back the Hebrew meanings. Brought back all the illustrations I had written and the text to support my point. Everything came like I had it in my hand. I preached a powerful sermon. After that, I prayed for the sick. The blind saw. The lame walked. God manifested himself like never before in my life. Then I realized that is not us, but it's him. He's the reason why we are here. He's the reason why we sing. He's the reason why the daughters of glory of Jesus sang here and sang beautifully. It is the reason why we live and move and have our being. Because we have our being in him. Jesus is the one we are supposed to preach. This Bible is preachable. This Bible is preachable. And so Archbishop, you need to continue to study. Don't I know you are a, a studious person. I've read some of your books. I've learned some of your books. I know you spend quality time before the Lord in fasting and prayer that God will give you a message. Now that you are elevated, the level they have raised, they've raised the bar. And so it means that you must go beyond where you used to be while you were a bishop. If you study three hours, go five hours. If you pray two hours, go five hours. If you, if you spend quality time with God, fellowship with God, increase the time, the vital time you spend with God. Because that's where the real issue is. Feed the flock. I always say to our Bible students that when you don't have a message, your hallelujahs are many. Your amens are many. Because you have no message. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. I don't preach like that. I preach with the unadulterated word of God. I support each point with the scriptures. And I make sure that God's people understand the scriptures. Hallelujah. So we are supposed to feed the flock. And it takes study of God's word. It takes family devotion. I'm happy to read from your profile that as a young boy, you were addicted to prayer and family devotions. If you ask the success of Douglas Rimpo, my success is that I spend quality time with my family each day for devotion. I don't joke with it. One time we were having family devotion and we've divided the days for all the children. And the child that was supposed to lead the devotion was my youngest child, my youngest son. He was seven years then. And he was detailed to lead the family devotion. Don't tell me that a boy of seven years cannot lead a family devotion. He led a family devotion. He led us in prayer. We sang some praise songs. And then he chose his test. He chose a test. He read the test, and then he said, 
Now the word of God has come to us. If you have anything to say or contribute, say it and let's pray. He had nothing to say. He couldn't comment on the text. And I say that that's better, far better than no devotion. Far better. The seven-year-old with his childish brain couldn't expound the Bible. He could only read and then ask the adult to comment on it. Teach a child the way he should go. And when he grows up, he will not depart from it. Study of God's word. As an individual student of the word, you must study. We are so blessed in our generation that you get, we get a Bible on our mobile phones, on our iPads. You can have the tree Bible right here on your phone. You can have an audio Bible from Genesis to Revelation in every language, most of the languages in our country. So we have the responsibility. When we stand before Christ in heaven at the judgment seat, we cannot say that we didn't know because we have the Bible audio version in our mother tongues. You have no excuse. We have no excuse. So let's study the word. And preachers, let's make sure that we spend quality time in studying. It's good to have messages that have been preached by other people. Blake Graham and Charles Spurgeon and all these great men of God. It's good to glean and have ideas from some of the sermons they've preached. But you see, you must go down to the word as a beggar. And ask the Holy Spirit to illumine your heart of the scriptures that you read. Because when you know it from source, and when you have plugged in there, nothing can take that message from your heart. And you will preach that message with authority. I also realized that the presiding bishop was saying that you have spiritual authority. Use that spiritual authority. Exercise that spiritual authority. In the name of Jesus. No demon will be able to stand before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Secondly, we are supposed to provide spiritual oversight. You see, the flock needs food. And some of us who rear dogs and goats in our homes, some of us are very wicked. I keep telling my wife and children that if you can't keep a, a pet like a dog and a cat, and feed that pet, don't have it anyway. Because if you keep a pet like a dog in your house, you must feed that dog like you feed your children. You must be kind to animals. And in Ghana, our culture is different. We have dogs that are free range. They run around to find something to eat themselves. When we have crumbs from our food, then we give to them. We don't feed them. When we feed the family, we don't feed them. We don't consider that they are part of the family. And so these dogs and goats and chicken will go around and peck and find something to eat. So if we don't feed the flock, the flock can find a way to feed themselves. But the dangerous thing is this. If we don't have spiritual oversight, the second aspect of our responsibility, that's where the flock has a problem. Because, you see, when you have a sheep or goat and it goes astray, it will find something to eat. When, when it meets a wolf, it cannot stand the wolf. And that's where the shepherd comes in. You make sure that spiritual oversight is exercised over the congregation. You have a, you have a, a, a very difficult responsibility because you oversee hundreds of churches, hundreds of pastors, hundreds and hundreds of deacons and church members and church workers. And you have that spiritual oversight over all of them. And that's a very heavy responsibility. And so, there's the need to train and delegate responsibility and make sure that the vision and mission of resurrection power and living bread is passed on to generations. Remember, always God will tell the Israelites after he had done something miraculous like crossing the Jordan River he will tell them go and pick stones from the very depth of the river every tribe should take one and go and make an altar 
and when generations to come come and ask you what's the meaning of these stones then you tell them we pick these stones right from the death of the Jordan River to prove to them the power and the miraculous wonderful way of God delivered them so it's important that we hand over the history of this church and the doctrines we have to generations to come let's take advantage of the youth we have a vibrant youth educated youth I have a mobile phone and I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm a computer literate but my last born can manipulate this he's doing computer science he can manipulate this small computer of mine like crazy and I become like an illiterate we have a young intelligent youth and the church must engage this young and intelligent youth. Let's get them involved. Let's get them involved. An empty hand is the devil's workshop. If the hand does nothing, the devil will find something for it to do. So all the world over, where is Oration Power and Living Bread Ministries International, you have branches. Make sure that the pastors are well trained. Make sure that we run seminars. Make sure that the doctrine that you have preached all these 38 years and I've thought I've not moved away from it to preach about Abuya Munsio and and some of these crazy things that are on the market today. You, for 38 years, you have stood firm, preached the unadulterated word of God. And I want to challenge you. You have to do more. You have to do more. You have to do more. On that note, I promise 15 minutes. And my time is up. So as a faithful preacher, I will end just here. If you are happy, say hallelujah. I have finished with the archbishop. What about you? What about the congregation? Peter also said that you younger people submit to the elders. You see, Archbishop may be your age group. But now that he's elevated to this higher office, he's positionally different from you. And the God we serve is a God of order. God believes in order. You see the bishops here. And look at the two, two armchairs. They are different. You see? The archbishop occupies a throne that is different from the bishops. That's what order is all about. Now that God has elevated him, you have to give him that respect that comes with the role he's playing now. Congregation, you need to pray for him. You intentionally have to pray for him every day you go on your knees. Not only him, but also the other bishops. The apostles, the pastors, the evangelists, the church workers, the deacons, the ashes, and all the workers in the church. Every time as a member of Resurrection Power and Living Bread, you, when you go down on your knees, make sure you mention them in your prayer. That God will anoint them and use them to bless you. So the Bible says in Hebrews, obey your leaders and submit to them. Learn how to submit. Learn how to be loyal. Those of us who are pastors, learn how to be loyal. Loyal to authority. Standing in for him. Covering him. And making sure that God uses him to accomplish the purpose for which he has made him the archbishop of this great church. Cover him. Not only in prayer, but in every aspect of administration in the church. When you do that, others will also do that for you. Because Adia, Opese, Yema, on the Bible say, Yema, Unyonku. Let's learn to obey. Let's learn to submit. If we have challenges, let's approach him. Your Archbishop is an approachable person. Thank God the resurrection I've worked with you for years since the, the founder's time 
resurrection, there's openness. You can go to Archbishop and sit down with him and talk to him about any challenge in the church. So if you have challenges, don't criticize him behind his back. Go to him and tell him what your challenges are. And I believe that he will have an open heart to receive you because we all want resurrection power to be the best church in our country and in our world. So make sure that you are loyal to him and make sure that you cover him in your prayers and also in your administration. Please respect his wife and children. And I don't say that only for the archbishop. I say that to the entire congregation. You must give respect to your pastor's wife, your bishop's wife, and your apostle's wife, your evangelist's wife, your deacon's wife. Respect them as well as their children. Sometimes our children, you, let me just tell you, my time is out, let me just tell you why in America, most of the charismatic leaders brought in their wives and children to become directors of the ministry and became, made them part and parcel of the ministry. When they started, they were kingdom minded. But when they died, their children and family members became orphans for a life work that they put their money, their youthful years into. And the leadership were like a pharaoh who never knew Joseph. Gave them names and sacked them from these churches. And so they took a clue from that and made sure that they integrated their family in the leadership of the churches and the organizations they started. I did a research to preach about Pentecostal succession. And I realized that's what happened. And so we don't take good care of our families. I don't want to mention them, but there is a, a Pentecostal church, one of the leading Pentecostal churches in Ghana. When the chairman died, the wife had to put her cloth, pieces of her cloth together to get a roof over an uncompleted building that this apostle was about to build that he didn't finish. Or the name Tuma. Tuma ni kukwe fumu. And or pam ye. And or the ye tent. Say nebe ye ya. Enshin. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Let's take good care of our wives and children. So that our children. One day I have seven girls. I ask my girls. Mube ware sofo. If you are eating. Me ba pen yu de ne niye din kakara o Massachusetts. Or say dada. Hallelujah. Me worry businessman. If he say, as I for now, she will yield. And so, Nyami Jumano. And you won't cry. I mean, how I buy a debotechino. And one the engineer. no no we start from today. Archbishop, we know you're a And now Father's Day. Now we pray. Me Kenya o kakana mi fesa se mama Kenya na wati ana wante. Se ye show bi sofu peni se ya ye yeno adoye ye febri bi ye de boa for ye ye de mano. Tia. Because I'm as of baby, we are sons of God. I appreciate you. You really are happy. So I've been on my walk, and I'm a donut car, and I say, "Yen tong." Now, I saw him feeling so, so he's feeling too calm, man. But to put him as a man, he really are happy. I draw that my woman officer, and I saw him paying back up by. But you saw, he's a man sharp, and not the man you see. So I said. Yeah, but for any I see cat or car, 
and my suffering. The first car. Go pair white. I saw a penny by our sister. A penny for us, mammy. Then Ross and Medawas, then Yami Yusupa, Namzi and Fasida Menami. Now, some men are the boss. I saw a penny for us, maybe I said. Sikana is easy and a car now. Yaton, Yanya Biato. Nakano, a sofu dia, and I say, I saw it dia. A pesia who needed to me troll. And I may say, I want to say, Radima Minyansa. And I may be sad, sir. May Kai say, I appreciate it. It will be the shirt to be by. A bit of the buyer by. A bit of the Yadua by. A bit of the Mako by. A bit of the milk. This I didn't hear my name by now. And no, no, I saw it dia, and I say, I saw for dia. O jaho di no titi di tiri hum. O jaho di no titi di tiri wasi o sofu. Ba ire di ere di ne ya sofu dia. Aya sorry dia. Ba ire ni men kaini ni amani amani. Ndi ya sa ya sofu na me se se ni aba ire ni ya sofu dia no. Sa na ka nunso e ya sofu dia. Na sa for ya ya be ba ma ag bishopi. Men person penyin for administrator. Any bishops no. Mo be afre mi kumasi mi wepa mi kumasi. Men person mo be afre mi sa me se sa for ya bo ya. A bishop be a lass, yet it's your sorry car. Sir, for you, I hear boy, dear. Yet the big good archbishop on Nassi. I want you to take your envelopes and I want to start faith convention. You're buying you the 1000 Ghana cities. So full, but you're sorry. The secretary, no, no, faith convention. So for Afrin, I'm a chair. So for you, I a child. So for, uh, uh, Martin Ampoma, uh, Charles Okra, Sofwa Post O2, Jimmy Santi, or London, they say, excuse me, then the Cassandra, Wunjina, Tayachin, one smile, and say, Embra, Nayamehe, Archbishop, the elevation, the 1000 I buy. But Abi Awaha, and nay, Father's Day, Unim and Yamenam Archbishop, so I am You can afford 5,000. And now you can afford 10,000. And now you can afford 2,000. And now you can afford 1,000. And now you can afford even 500 Ghana cities. Or 200 or 300. Let me just start. Owaha. Owa kuma musa. Nefades day. Elevation day. Archbishop. Ope se. O de 1,000. And now 2,000. And now 5,000. And now 10,000. From 1,000 going. Ope se. O de shano. Oh, I'm patch of baby. I would be a sorry brow anymore. The opposite of this channel 1000, 2000, 3000, 5000, 10,000, whatever. Oh, a car, 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 We have a 2,000 here. We have two, another 1,000 here. We have another 1,000 here. Bonsai me urade. Pacho de toa. Fekina wa inimha ya mame. I'm going to pray. Bishops, I expect you. As of all, I expect you. This is your bishop. This is your first offering. 1,000. Hey, Bia. Usika no anye 1,000. What has he said? But if you are bank, if you feel, then you have to see no envelope, no debit card, no watch or so set. Maybe five hundred account, maybe a thousand account. I want you to come for it. I want to pray. Your time is up. To who or how you want to give no less than one thousand Ghana cities to the bishop. I want you to come forward. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. One thousand or more. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. Whatever you want to give. From 1,000 upwards, I want you to come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Why be your neighbor?
Bishop, anniversary committee, no. Okra 5,500. So that the man. But you crawl half. Fabeto ne nasi mame. half a It's not less than 1,000. But say me ready. Yamishra. Yamishra. Be the 500 about best and the 500 become. Raise your right hand to God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, is it? The many more. I'm looking for twenty. We have thirteen. I need seven more people that will give not less than one thousand. Seven more people. We have 13. But seven more people that want to give, not less than 13. Not, not less than 1,000. Are you coming as a group or you are coming as individuals? As a group, that's 14. That's 15. But you can So that's 15. That's 15. I can five. Five more. Five more. I can four. Born send me ready. I can four. I can four. But you crawl up a bit to the nice mommy. Faber to platform to mommy. Scan you crawl up a bit to platform to mommy. In crawl up through Dean or envelope Nechi about the amount you want to give and put it there. We have good news from daughters. O man out it will one say Doom so doom so it want to plant thirty seven thousand Ghana cities worth. One day I could see if you overconnect a jade moho. Nyami Shama. Munin any more mine. Munin any more mine. And now Father's Day. Let's show our love. Let's show our love. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Bonsemi rather one more. One more. Nineteen. One more. One more person to give one thousand. One more person. One more person. I'm a very focused preacher. And when I say 20, I mean 20. We have just one more person. It may be a sacrificial offering. But I believe God will give back to you. God bless you. Raise your hand up. Heavenly Father. Your people are standing right before your just elevated Archbishop. On Father's Day. They know what you have used them to do in their lives and in this ministry. And they stand before the altar as first fruit on this Father's Day to give from their heart willingly this special offering. I pray that you give them a testimony from this service. Let them come back and testify of what you have done for them and through them. Some of them are ministers. Increase the unction upon their lives and bless them. For those who have a special need on their heart, your word says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are certain things in our life that money cannot buy. Money cannot have that solution. It's only you that can provide that solution. Let it be that this special offering on this special Father's Day at the elevation of your servant be an open door on the key to that need. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Let's give Jesus a clap of rebounds. 
If you want to give 500, 500, 500, just come. Just come. Ozuzika, 5 million. And then Father's Day, Abishop, Medishrao, Fabra, Yaminshrao, Yaminshrao, 500. Oh, Bonsa, me ready, bro. You know me, baby. Fabeto. Five hundred. Five hundred. Yamin Shamu. Yami Besho and Nam. Five hundred. Five hundred. Yamin Shamu. Yamin Shao. Yamin Shao. Maybe on the man, men are strong. And the boy, men are meant to be interested in Five hundred. Yamin Shao. Yamin Shao. Oh, boy, I'm ready to bring you to bay. Today is Father's Day. Don't forget. Today is Father's Day. Show your love. Show your love. God bless you. If you have the money, just put it down. If it's not here, write your name at the back of the envelope and the amount you are giving. Your telephone number will contact you. Bless you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 500. 500. Oh dear, 400. 300. 200. 2 million. 3 million. 4 million. 5 million. Please join us. 200 Ghana cities, 300 Ghana cities, 400, 500. Bacho Fabra. Obonze Meura de Brahe Nyanu Mube. Let's show our love. Let's show our love. Send your radi, Isha, and Bishop and Opez, and your radi, Sinchrao. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. But you crow up a bit too. Say, Scanning the Hannah said, I played that true. Dino telephone number. Any assembly crown will wait three. So the administrator and the rest will be able to identify and call you. God bless you. God bless you. Who crow one million, the 100 Ghana cities, and that's what you want to give. 100 Ghana cities, wherever you are, I want to come. Just come, put it at the feet of the Archbishop. Archbishop. Unuyam Maya Manum. And here we see a forum, so say we could have 500. One day, a shower. Omiya Moya and Samuel, we see a forum. We could have 200, we could have 100. Patch of a bet to her. Nyamin Shraw. Come on, say my name, my baby. Come on, say my name. Yami Shao. 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 Five hundred, four hundred. 300, 200, 100 Ghana cities. 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million. Pacho mo amabano, maon seni fano so koso. Eurade, yen ka sein, ma yen se sein, ne da ponda, yen ka ye papano mo honam 
ye kai papa ho ho famu nso e wo pega wa pega no adwuma wa ye mfie dua sang otwi mu na ne wa hye na ni monya then ye betumi ni a hye wa nemu wo adoye ni mo bro ho kese a onam wa ko aso aye de amaye ebo udi wo bedwa mu sei na ya da wase o mei ni a won atri bi a hye nemu da ho adi che won afie mu won adwuma mu wa abata ye mu akwantuo mu won pai bo abra bo mu ene wo nya me so mu kai won kai won na sha o bo ene wo nya me da wase se o tie o do ba yesu christo de mu amen nya me sha o nya me sha o o mi amoye nsem ke se ma ye nua no me e pa cha o ba so ye ma wo emblu Oh, during throughout the week, yeah, my envelope be my answer. So, on such an envelope, nibi. So envelope, I hear Gigi. Yeah, the Ishra Archbishop. And the baby, I will be a oh me nimha. But I pass it. Yeah, doors. Yeah, cast it back. Yeah, the ninja be guha. Yeah, time no be ko. And then yeah, be by be corona meet yeah do no great job. And the ashes no, I'm far. Baskets in CC baby, I have bought for ya this year. Now, Mama, you know, I am sorry. I am saying you to follow now. One to you, man, I know better to my bomb pie. I want to you, man, bomb pie. We are what Chedi Biara who are oppressor with the ma at Bishop. No, sir, so now into me and come basket get to anyone. If I told the bedding, I have a budget. Now, who could be our person with a bishop at Bishop? And part of a better one, ever my I say, Obi, I pass the bounty. Oh, the toha, my part of na. Well, free hunt, my man. Send me a one hour car and subi to me the apa. Yeah, bring it here, dance. Yami shau. You to phone on to you, no my. Bra, the day bano. I'm saying, you better be a chief bishop. I'm saying, move back from Kakra. Na, you do so. At me, I intend Kakra my. And to the two ha, I bishop move back from Munina ha, move back from Na Edi Eguho. Na I intend my. Pacho Fatu, Ehoa, Nenimua, Fatu, Nenimua, Yamin Shrao, Yamin Shrao, Yamin Shrao, Pacho Men, Koyabe, Communion, Nayama, I wish of a bombire, a chatu and Sana Yafiha, Yabe, Communion Service, Nayapo, and Sana, Yawa, Kaibo, from Kubis, and the Bema War, Yamin Shrao, Yamin Shrao. My job is I'm still here. On my way, I'm still here. My brother, the brother, you know me. I don't want to change the era. Oh, shall we appreciate our Papa? Shall we appreciate him? Appreciating our Papa.
Crow West. Four war special presentation for Bishop. Patro Adaurma. Mumayena Sabri ya MIA. And Sana, we are called the next item. Accra West. Yeah, first I'm going to share Accra West for Grau Mubei. No more of your presentation. Led by Honorable Kajuba Ajimai. West region, uh, we have a plate here that we want to give it to our Archbishop. Um, there is a small citation on it, and I want to read to the hearing of everybody. Congratulations, Archbishop Akosiasa Rebediakon. In recognition of your faithful service to the Lord, to whom, when he asked, whom shall I send, you humbly repl replied, send me. Of the difference you have made in the lives of thousands of people, as a leader, a reverend minister, a teacher, a father, and a friend, and of the dedication and commitment with which you have dispersed your duties as a leader of this ministry, we congratulate you on your elevation to the much-deserved Archbishop and pray that God will continue to bless you and your family. From Resurrection Power and Living Bread Ministries, Accra West, we present this plate to you. The Archbishop. The Bible show this card on by JC ninety nine zero five dash eleven. JC ninety nine zero five. Dash eleven. Pacho, Wada Roma, Ukano, Ebese, Uko, Uba Modena, we, if you home, I am Cecilia. Thank you. God bless you. We shall invite Archbishop Ade. Let's do that with applause. Let's do that. Yensem Kasia Bako, Emma Doctor Reverend Doctor Akuna Frempong, why are dear? Hallelujah. Yentry and Sawan also now Yen can say, Dear Yamishrao, Amen. You Akaka Krebina Yaji. Archbishop in some Ishra na eko Yebe communion service kakra a ka program no ho kakrebi Archbishop akosi asarbedi akon on this occasion of your taking up the obligations of the office of Archbishop we invite you to come to the table of the Lord and receive holy communion and thereafter, administer the sacraments to the people. Thank you. Shall we rise up on our feet, please? Just the first verse of Jesus, keep me near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross where a precious fountain leading to the golden sun flows from Calvary's mountain
When I say lift up your hearts, we shall all respond. We lift them up to the Lord. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Now, when I say let us give thanks to the Lord, our God, you will respond. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Let's give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Shall we pray? Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, it is indeed right. It is our joy and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You created all things and made us in your own image. When we had fallen into sin, you gave your only Son to be our Savior. He shared our human nature and died on the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand in glory, where he lives forever to pray for us. Through him, you have sent your holy and life-giving spirit and made us your people, a royal priesthood, to stand before you to proclaim your glory and celebrate your mighty acts. Therefore, with all the company of heaven, we join in the unending hymns of praise. What, whatever I say, you say it after me. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise you, O Lord God, King of the universe, through our Lord Jesus Christ who on the night in which he was betrayed took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. We shall all say, Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Father, as he has commanded us, we do this in remembrance of him, and we ask you to accept our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we will receive your gift of bread and wine, and may share in the body of the blood of Christ. Make us one body with him. Accept us as we offer ourselves to be a living sacrifice and bring us with your whole creation to your heavenly kingdom. We ask this through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. People, please say this after me, please. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be given to you, Almighty Father, from all who dwell on earth and in heaven throughout all ages. 
Amen. Now, bring the bread. The bread we break. It's a sharing in the body of Christ. Please respond. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in the one loaf. Say in the one loaf. Lord, we come to your table trusting in your mercy and not in any goodness of our own. We are not wealthy even to gather up the crumbs under your table. But it is your nature always to have mercy. And on that we depend. So feed us with the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your son, that we forever will live him, will live in him and he in us. Amen. So now Archbishop, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is shared for you, keep you in eternal life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, keep you in eternal life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you, and be thankful. Amen. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of the, our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, and his blood, which was shed for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. So, um, the deacons, communion. Give to uh -huh. as you have been doing always. Okay, but the bishops. Okay, as we do it always in the house, continue to do it now. You can take the communion. Come round and take it. Bishops should come. No, you, you, you stand here. Stand with me and they will come for you. Yeah, as for Bishop, you can give it to him.
bishops and apostles. All the bishops and apostles. Apostles. <laughs>